I'm actually on a uh, on a ladder. Why am I on a ladder? Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Hey, I'm standing out here beside the tundra. I'm actually on a uh, on a ladder. Why am I on a ladder? Well, I wanted to show you the gap between the roof of the Tacoma and the lift. You guys can see right there. You can see some uh, some daylight between the top of the tundra and the lift. That's because it just recently got smaller. I did a thing yesterday. I lifted the Tundra. Now, I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like right now. I wanted to give you a look at what it looks like under the lift. I'm not done yet. Um, still looking at uh, maybe a couple other things that might close that gap, might close it too far. Anyway, let's pull it out, take a look. Okay, got it all parked outside here. Let you guys see a little bit as we walk out to it. This is, uh, obviously the passenger side check out that gap on the wheels now between the top of the wheel or the tire rather and the, the fender quite a bit of difference and this isn't a huge lift go over here look at it from this side now it is filthy dirty and that's because uh, we kind of had some severe weather here last night while we were coming home It was uh, pouring down rain, and you can see the truck is filthy. We got uh, somewhere a little over 10 inches of rain last night, so pretty severe stuff. But anyway, what I did here, this uh, is a 3-1 lift. And I know a lot of you were saying, a 3-1? I thought you were going with a 3-2. What's the deal? Well, we were going to go with a 3-2 and then did some measuring. Um, and found out that if I'd gone with a 3-2, it actually would have left the front end an inch lower. It wouldn't have leveled out the truck, which is not what I wanted. Part of why I was doing this was to level out the truck a bit. So, uh, with a 3-1, we should be pretty close to level. Now, I don't expect it to be exact. I mean, it does sit on a suspension, and it's not going to be exact. Well, I'm going to measure it for you here in just a minute. I'll tell you what it was before and what it is now with this lift on it. But anyway, it is a 3-1 ready lift. That's a block and spacer lift. Spacers in the front, blocks in the back. And so far, as you can probably tell, we do have the original tires and wheels on. Now, it did come, this TSS package, with these black 20-inch wheels, which I really do like. So I'm not looking to change the wheels. The tires, however, right now, our 275-55R20s, which you can see there. I am thinking about going with a 295-60R20. And that's going to give me a little bit over two inches uh, of extra lift, uh, if you will. They're about two inches taller than what I have on there right now. And I should be able to do that without any kind of rubbing or anything like that. But, big but. Um... I'm always concerned about the UCAs now rubbing because of the issue I had with the, or the, the Tacoma. So, the next thing that I'm going to do before we do anything with, uh, with the wheels and tires are spacers. Uh, as you can see, right now, the tires really don't poke out away from the truck much. There might be a little bit, it's hard to tell in the front there because the wheels turned a hair, but you can see here in the back, they don't poke out really at all, and I want them to. I want to have about an inch, inch and a half, something like that, uh, of poke, if you will. I want those tires to stick out. So we're going to go with a Borla wheel spacer. I've already got them on order. Should be coming in within the next couple days. And we're going to put those on uh, so that we can get those tires out a little bit. And irregardless of whether uh, I replace the tires or not, um, I'm still going to need those because I'm not going to change the wheel at all. So I think it should look pretty good that way. We'll see. Um, I think it'll be pretty good. And also, I wanted to test them a little bit for the channel. Uh, I've never had wheel spacers before that I'm aware of. And you hear a lot of uh, bad pub out there about them, you know. 
And I talked to the guy at the shop a little bit about that, and he said, well, yeah, you've got to make sure that you get good wheel spacers, good quality, you know, a good, strong part. And the Borlas uh, were his recommendation, and of course, everybody's familiar with the Borla name, so I think we'll be okay there. I'm not really concerned about that. So, we'll see once those come in, uh, what kind of a difference they make, and whether or not uh, there's really any need to go with a bigger tire to get the look that I want. So now let's go over, we're gonna take a look at the before, well, the after measurement, I guess, of, uh, of the gap from the bottom of the wheel to the bottom of the fender as compared to what it was before I did the lift. I have the measurements from before I did the lift. So we're gonna start in the front and I'm gonna check real quick just to make sure uh, I get the right number here. And the front, as you can see that I wrote down, was 32 and a half inches. Now that's 32 and a half inches from the right there, the bottom of the wheel up to the bottom of the the fender. So let me go ahead and get my tape measure all pulled out here. And let's go ahead and measure that up and see what we get. So we want the tape to be at the bottom of the wheel there, like so. And then we're coming up here, and you can see we're right about 35 and 3 quarters or so. We're going we're gonna to say 35 and 3 quarters. 35 and 3 quarters in the front. Now, we were at 32 and a half. So 35 and 3 quarters, let's see. Uh, 32 to 35 is uh, 3 inches and uh, another quarter is about three and a quarter inches. So we got about three and a quarter inches on the front there, if my math is right. Now we're gonna check the back. Let's go ahead and make sure we have our measurement right here. It is, was 34 and a half inches. So we're gonna do the same thing here. So it was 34 and a half, and now, Pull our tape out a little bit. We're at about 35 and three quarter. 35 and three quarter, roughly. So, 34 and a half to 35 and three quarter is about uh, about an inch, about an inch and a quarter. So that's what the lift turned out to be uh, with the block and spacers. Again, you're going to have a little bit, you know, with the suspension sitting on the, the blocks and the spacers, it's going to vary a little bit. So I did indeed achieve uh, what I was looking for as far as uh, the height and getting as close to leveling it out uh, as I could. Okay, I did go back real quick and measure that uh, those two areas without the camera in my hand so I could get down there and see everything. And they're both right about at uh, 35 and a half. So that gives me uh, the 3-1 lift that I was looking for. So we did indeed level it out, uh, plus or minus maybe an eighth, sixteenth, something like that. So I'm happy with the way that it came out. I think it looks fantastic. I think it gave me what I wanted as far as leveling the truck out and not having the front sit down. Uh, now I just have to decide what to do with the wheels, or the tires rather, and, uh, and get those spacers in so we can see if I get the poke, you know, the, the amount that the tire sticks out, the technical term, uh, from the truck. I think it's going to look fantastic. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, show you guys uh, how it looks in the garage there now and what the truck itself looks like, uh, and we're going we're gonna to do some more, more coming. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.